Hi everyone, this is Dale C. Washington of Greater Works, Prophetic Ministry, and Raw. It is shortly after midnight, Wednesday morning, August 9th of 2023. The title of this message is, This Ain't Jamie, This Is It. And the word ain't is intentional. So I'm back with another video, another word from the Lord for you all. Um, and before I get into the message, I want to tell you all that um, you all you all are being polled. Those of you who are currently and um, you're ongoing with engaging um, Jamie. Fox's uh, social media uh, platforms with the narratives that have been set um, to say that or to make it look as if Jamie Foxx himself is posting on his uh, social media accounts and the conversations, the controversy concerning the post. Um, and I'm not going to get into it about, you know, him being uh, making a statement that was anti-Semitic when he said they, quote unquote, they. So you all are being polled with all of all of that. And uh, the people who have um, you're, you're being polled on various uh, social media platforms and uh, you're being polled by the personalities who run these platforms. It is their job to do this. They're getting paid to see what you think, okay? To see where you are with all of, in the scope of all of this that's going on concerning Jamie. So they, they, they're polling you to see how many of you all um, have been deceived into thinking and believing that Jamie Foxx is still here among the living versus how many people believe he's dead. Okay. And so far, the majority of the people believe that Jamie is still in the land of the living, that he's still alive. Okay. The masses believe that. So, um, I'm going to, part of my assignment tonight is to give you more of what the Lord is showing me and I'm going to show you all and try to help you all understand how dangerous this is, this uh, false narrative, these mind games, this deception, how dangerous this really is, okay? So with the previous video... Um, part part two of uh, the rise of Horus. I mentioned to you all about um, how that after I did part one, one or two days later, I heard in my spirit as I was standing at the kitchen sink, I heard um, I went so deep that they brought Jamie back up. So... Um, previous video I was explaining to you all and showing you all the scriptures the Lord gave me from 1 Samuel 28 uh, which was um, that was about um, Saul going to seek out the witch of Endor and having her to call up Samuel who had already been dead for maybe two years at that time um, and Samuel was disobeying, I'm sorry, Saul was disobeying God. He had been disobe disobedient to God in this. He was going against the word of God by doing this. Uh, and that was the, you know, the, the reasons that God allowed him to be killed. So, um, he was, he went to seek out a medium or a witch to get information from um, this witch who had a familiar spirit and he did this because Saul did this because the Lord was no longer speaking to him you know by prophets or by through dreams and visions because Saul um, was um, in rebellion he had disobeyed the Lord Yahweh okay 
So um, the woman with the familiar spirit, um, she uh, called up someone. She was supposed to be calling up Sam- Samuel. That's how it's worded. But she was actually calling up a demon that impersonated Samuel. And I told y'all that um, that is called demon trafficking. Okay. And I heard the Lord speak concerning what is going on now with this event with Jamie, but, but not limited to this event with Jamie, but other things that are going on in our world. Um, I heard the Lord speak importing demons. Okay. So that was some of the stuff that I mentioned in part two of the rise of Horus. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this message. This ain't Jamie. This is it. So um, after they, I'm saying the word they, after they, the earthly powers that be, brought Jamie back up on the night of July 21st, I was so shocked and I was so disturbed by the image that they produced So let me go to that picture. Okay, so I was so disturbed by this image and I was so shocked. I went in prayer and I said, God, I said, what is this? I said, what is this? And I heard in my spirit. I'm going to get back to that picture. When I asked the Lord, what is this? I heard in my spirit a projected image. Okay? I heard a projected image. This ain't Jamie. This is it. This is IT. This is intelligence technology and I know that we normally the other uh, words for IT is information technology but this is intelligence technology this is it okay Michael Jackson tried to tell y'all what this is he told y'all this is it this is IT all right This is intelligence technology replacing man with technology and mixing man with machinery. Okay? Michael Jackson was very prophetic. This is what will happen to some individuals in certain industries when when they don't bow. Okay, they will be taken down and replaced with intelligence technology in many different forms. Okay, in many different forms. This is not Jamie. This is it. This is IT. This is IT. So I'm going to um, show you all another photo here if I can find it in a moment. Let me see if I can find this other photo. I think this is the one. Okay, take a look at this. Look at the word intel in the word intelligence. So I underline that with the red marker. This is what the Lord was revealing in the dream that he that he gave that I shared in uh, the Rise of Horus part one and part two. I read the, the Jamie Foxx dream. So this is what the Lord was revealing in the dream about Jamie Foxx working on an Intel laptop. That was the interpretation of the laptop that he was working on. It was an Intel. And see the word Intel in the word intelligence and and in the dream he was working on a laptop computer that the Lord showed us was an Intel computer this is it this is IT 
This is intelligence technology. A projected image, IT. This is AIT. All right? Artificial Intelligence Technology. This ain't Jamie. Artificial Intelligence Technology. AIT, if you add the N back into that, this is what you get. Ain't. Ain't Jamie. It ain't Jamie. This is trickery. This is deception. To hell and back. This is what the image spoke. The spirit speaking through this image. This thing is menacing. It's, it's very, it's, it's menacing. It said, I've been to hell and back. So I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about that. Um. I'm going to read 1 Samuel 28 and verse 19a and that reads Moreover the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines. Now I forgot to set this up. This is the demon spirit that was impersonating Samuel and this is what was being spoken by that um, demon to Saul. So it said, moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistine. And tomorrow shall thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. So the demon that's impersonating Samuel, um, that the, the witch called up, that she called up by the familiar spirit this is this demon is speaking as if it's Samuel and is telling is letting Saul know that the Lord is going to basically give y'all over to the Philistines they were going to lose the battle they were going to lose the war they were going to be destroyed and the 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 uh, Samuel impersonator was saying tomorrow you and your sons are going to be with me what I want to get y'all to understand is that when the um, when this spirit impersonating Samuel said tomorrow you and your sons are going to be with me that demonic spirit was basically revealing its true identity by saying that okay it, it's revealing who it is Here's the reason why um, Samuel, the real Samuel, was not in the place that Saul went when Saul did die, as this demon spirit is predicting that, in other words, y'all going to be dead tomorrow, y'all going to be with me. And so they did die the next day. But the real Samuel was not in the same place that Saul went to when Saul passed away, when Saul died. Okay, it says, um, when I researched that, it said that Samuel went to the compartment of Sheol or Hades that the righteous people went to. And Saul, when he died, he went to the compartment of Hades or hell where the wicked people went. So being that, this is a, a, a impersonator, a demon impersonating Samuel. That means that that demon is actually in hell. That demon is not in the compartment of Hades or Sheol where the righteous people. So that the place where this uh, impersonator of Samuel is is at. Uh, that's where Saul ended up at. So the demon spirit by saying you and your sons are going to be with me tomorrow. He was revealing his true identity that he was not Samuel. That he was a demon. Okay. I, ho 
I feel like sometimes I'm not good at explaining stuff. I, I hope y'all caught that. And I don't have time to go into a teaching of the different parts of hell. And this was before Jesus, Yeshua the Christ, died on the cross. It was This was before his death, burial, and resurrection. There was a compartment of Sheol where the righteous went. Okay? But that... Once Jesus uh, died on the cross and was resurrected on the third day, the righteous, when they die, they no longer go to that compartment, that part of Sheol. Okay, so you all can study that out and research that. All right. So um, between where Samuel, the real Samuel was when he passed away in the compartment where the righteous people go and where Saul actually went, the place where the wicked people go, there was a gulf. There was a great gulf between those two places. And I talked a little bit about that gulf um, in one of the previous videos. And I did this research, if you want to research it from, um, I, I found this out from Dakes, Dakes, D A K E apostrophe S annotated reference Bible. All right. So, um, so, so here's my point. The Jamie Fox imitator spoke and said, "I went to hell and back." Um, so that caught my attention, and I knew that that meant something other than the obvious um, that they wanted you to think. They the, the obvious understanding of that is he went to hell and back concerning his health crisis, his medical emergency and his sickness and what happened to him. That was the obvious understanding that they wanted the masses to believe, but that was not what my discernment was relaying to me that was not what the Holy Spirit was relaying to me so this image spoke and said I went to hell and back that was not Jamie Fox or Eric Bishop speaking that was the demon that was speaking through an image of Jamie and that was the demon exposing and telling on himself all right that's why I just went over the part about um the the impersonator of Samuel speaking to Saul and saying tomorrow you and your sons are going to be with me so that spirit was demon spirit was telling on itself and this impersonator that is speaking through this image of Jamie Fox told on itself revealed its true identity by saying I went I've been to hell and back okay I've been to hell and back. Like demons are in hell and then they come up, they travel, come up on the earth looking for a body to possess, looking for uh to wreak havoc in someone's life. You know, they've been to hell and back. They do tra demons do travel, all right? They do impersonate people, they do imitate people. Okay, so that thing that spoke through Jamie, through the image of Jamie, through this form of Jamie, was a demon spirit exposing itself, identifying who it really was by saying, I've been to hell and back. Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx did not go to hell and back, but the demon speaking through this image certainly has. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all the dangers of what's going on um, with all the interaction and engaging with pe people with people trying to engage this image in this form of Jamie Fox. Uh, this was a post when this video was done this was on his Instagram and here you can see 1.9 million likes how great is the deception 1.9 million people like this and more than that because everybody didn't 
click the like button. The number of people who have been deceived by this is staggering. Okay? It's staggering. The numbers are staggering. Now, let me tell you all a little bit about this word. When, um, after I uploaded, um, The Rise of Horus Part 2, I think that was on a Sunday night. Yeah, on the morning, so on the morning of July 31st, which was Monday morning, um, after I had uploaded The Rise of Horus Part 2, as I was in between being asleep and awake, I kept hearing the Holy Spirit speak the word necromancy. Necromancy. That was being repeated. I was, I was like coming up, coming out of sleep a little bit between being asleep and awake. And I kept hearing necromancy, 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 as if to, it was being repeated as if to ensure that I didn't forget what I was hearing once I woke up. Okay. So I immediately understood that I needed to warn people that this whole event um, surrounding um, these images or this image of Jamie Foxx that people are engaging with this thing as if it's really Jamie and this it's like there's an engaging and luring people to participate in necromancy all right so i put this up here it, it for y'all to see the definition and when i heard the holy spirit speaking this to me that morning as i was coming out of sleep i knew what it meant i was like that's um that's i was like that's communicating with the dead so it says here the supposed practice of communicating with the dead especially in order to predict the future all right it's the same thing as sorcery and witchcraft and at the bottom here it says Saul was Saul had disguised himself in 1 Samuel 28 when he went to the necromancer talking about the witch of Endor All right necromancy divination by means of pretended communication with the dead and when by the time I found that definition I don't remember which place I found that definition I was almost floored because these are all the scriptures that uh, God had led me to as he was giving me the understanding of the of this dream and and uh and the interpretation of the dream and as he has been giving me the this uh message and this warning for his people these are all the scriptures that the lord had already already led me to okay so um again um uh, and a necromancer so necromancy is com- communicating with the dead through means of divination and a necromancer is simply a person that or a person who practices necromancy okay you're practicing and you're engaging in sorcery and witchcraft when you do this it is importing demons that's my next scripture okay importing demons so the demons are being imported via the computer all right right on top of your laptop so when I mentioned that in one of the previous messages I said I heard the Lord say importing demons well things are also imported through the computer through your laptop all right so Y'all, what y'all doing, y'all are seeking communication with the dead. That is the danger. God forbids it. All right? So, people are actually uh, posting messages to Jamie on his social media platforms. Um, You know, as if y'all really talking to Jamie saying oh I'm praying for you oh thank God you're healing 
where where and a, and a, a lot of saints are on there communicating with the dead communicating with this image this I said this is it this intelligence technology in the form of Jamie y'all are acting as if Jamie is really the person who's ma- who's posting this stuff I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself so let me yeah I want to read this scripture Deuteronomy 18 verse 9 through 12a okay here it is it says when thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter pass through the fire or that useth there it goes divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch verse 11 or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer all of these things are basically the same thing okay a necromancer all right for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord and because of these abominations the Lord thy God he 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 drove them he drove the pagan nations out from before his people and he allowed his people to inherit their land all right so you see how that reads there but that's what it means and on the side over here um what that is to me that would be my left column that is the notes and this is dake's anatoted reference bible and i don't have time to read those notes right there um on the side but these were um, pagan practices you know divination seeking out witches and observers of times and um, using charms and seeking out charmers and people with familiar spirits and sorcery and necromancy okay these were warnings against pagan practices all right So again, as I started to say, um, y'all, what y'all doing is you're you're seeking communication with the dead. Many of you all, you're engaging with Jamie's impersonator on his uh, Instagram, Twitter, and his social media accounts. You're you're so that's what you're doing. You're seeking communication with the dead and that is dangerous you're opening doors and opening portals and you're inviting demon spirits and all kind of demonic activity into your lives okay and you're acting as if you're really really engaging with Jamie when you're not all right and this um, this is what the masses have been deceived into believing they think that they're really talking or posting and writing to Jamie Foxx on his pages okay this is dangerous this is dangerous all right so I'm gonna mention something go back to the Jamie Foxx dream from uh, part one and part two of the rise of Horus so in the dream uh, we went through a door by the frozen food section in the store that we were in and I told y'all at the end of uh, the last video that I did that I found out what that was about and but I didn't have time to share it at that time so we went through multiple doors and the last door that we went through was a red door and we found Jamie in a hidden room sitting at a table working on a black laptop okay so here I wanted to show y'all four things that freeze so we went out like this door through the frozen food section of the store and food freezes computers freeze your laptop videos freeze and dead bodies and I didn't 
I meant to re- look that up and and see, you know, what it said. What what do they say about when they have a dead body? But I'm almost sure that they have to keep those bodies cold. So that's why I included that there. So again, um, Jamie said this was a Twitter post uh, in 2022. And it says, ah, froze. That's what Jamie said. Jamie Fox is ice cold. Okay. This, these are like clues leading up to what happened to Jamie. That's why I'm including this. This is like clues were left behind um, that I was led to that was, you know, it, like these things that were posted on his social media platforms were very telling, okay? So in real time, Jamie Foxx is showing up on devices that have been known to freeze, right? Everything, every place we've been seeing him at, he's been showing up on devices. And these devices are known or have been known to freeze. A computer can freeze up on you, your laptop, videos. And this is all because Jamie Foxx himself is also frozen. Jamie Foxx is frozen. Jamie Foxx is on ice. All right. This is a projected image. That's why you're seeing him on in various places. Every place we're seeing him is on a device that can freeze just like food freezes. Your computer, your video can freeze. Dead bodies. This is leading. This is this is this is this is the interpretation of the dream, the prophetic dream that God sent. This is showing you the state that Jamie is in. Jamie is dead cold. I I don't like saying these things, but the deception is just too great with this. Okay, so next. um, So I showed y'all the word intel and intelligence and what I want to do now is mention some previous videos that came to my mind that tie into this whole thing that's going on this whole event with Jamie Foxx being missing and all the lies and they're just playing this out as if he's still here and I want you all I'm going to try to I'm well, I'm not going to try to. I am going to at some point link these videos in the description box. And I would like for you all to go check these out. This is from 2019. And this is talking about um, they're chopping our black men down because they won't bow down to the clown. At the time, that is what God gave me. That is what was going on. Um I'm not sure, but I think this was around the time God gave me this when Nipsey Hussle was killed. Okay, and the title is We Not Going Down Like That. It's a very short video. Please check that out. I'm going to um, link that in the description box. And here's another video that came to my mind that... um, This was done in 2016. This was a prophetic poem that the Lord Yahweh gave me and I set it to music. Um, And this is called, Do You Want the Best or the Beast? Okay, some of this ties in to what I'm trying to show y'all concerning Jamie Foxx and technology. All right, this is end time deception going on, okay? It says, the image of the beast will will be presented to thee. Every eye shall see through technology. Omnipresent, he'll never be. Talking about the enemy. Talking about Satan. Omnipresent, he'll never be. Deception won't be complete till he imitates me through technology. That me right there in all caps, that's Yahweh. Okay? 
God is saying that deception won't be complete till he imitates me through technology. And right now, Jamie Foxx is being imitated, all right, through technology, through um, uh, an impersonator, a demonic spirit. This is witchcraft. This is sorcery, y'all, okay? A bowing of the knee, a new decree. His worship will be through technology. Y'all understand? His worship will be through technology. The beast, the the um, his worship, the anti antichrist. His worship will be through technology. This one says, "Some in the faith are weak. Too many asleep. Unless they seek to really know me, me who Yeshua the Christ, Yahweh. Okay. Unless you seek to know." Jesus, Yahweh, your father, God, unless you seek to know God, it says they will be deceived. How are you going to be deceived? This prophetic poem said through technology. I did not make this up. The Lord downloaded this prophetic poem in my spirit in 2016. You, so right now, people are being deceived with this whole Jamie Foxx thing through what? technology okay you're being deceived through technology so this is it this is IT as Michael Jackson tried to tell y'all before right before he left here this is IT this is sorcery this is a lion wonder the masses are being deceived through trickery and technology it ain't Jamie. It ain't Jamie. Okay? It's IT. This is intelligence technology. That is why it said, I'm calling it it. It said they protected me. And I think that the image spoken said, I, was, I think it first said I was protected. They protected me. It was low key deceptively telling y'all they projected me. Look at look at the demon the 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 demon speaking through this image telling y'all again. He's 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 telling y'all but but he's he's switching it up. No, you wasn't protected. You was projected. But he's low key deceptively deceptively telling y'all that but y'all not catching it this is what the Lord showed me I, I was protected no I you was projected they protected me no they projected you I don't know why I don't know why they did this I don't know why they're doing this but this is a projected image okay this is a projected image So I have, um, okay, this is a page from his Instagram, Jamie Fox's Instagram. Jamie has 16.7 million followers. What percentage of those are deceived and believing that he's still in the land of the living? Millions, the masses have been deceived by this. I'm going to wrap it up with this scripture. And this is uh, Matthew chapter 24. And my focus scripture is verse 24. So I'm going to just read 23. Then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ or there, or there is Christ. It says, don't believe it. Believe it not. Verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. Inasmuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have, I, I have told you before. All right. If it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. That means God's chosen ones. And there's only a handful of us calling this out and saying, this ain't Jamie. 
This ain't Jamie. This ain't this ain't Jamie. This is it. I'm telling you, this is IT, intelligence, technology. All right? Only a, only a handful of us is is trying to is standing our ground with this. I'm standing my ground. I only see a handful of people standing their ground. This ain't Jamie. This is artificial intelligence technology. All right, great deception. This is not about keeping, as I said before in the previous video, this is not about uh, me keeping up with celebrity. God gave me this assignment. This is about um, mass deception. All right, this is about mass depopulation. This is about end time deception. That's what this is about. This is about you all being deceived. You, this is about those who are posting messages to Jamie on his Twitter and Instagram accounts. This is about y'all who are doing that, com, um, seeking communication with the dead. That's what this is about. This is a warning. It is forbidden. People, God's people have been destroyed and wiped out for this. Saul was destroyed. This is one of the sins that Saul in the Old Testament did and that caused um, God to allow him to be killed. This is very dangerous to open these doors. The, the, the system... They are the, the, the wicked earthly powers that be are taking the people deeper and deeper into deception, leading y'all into sorcery and witchcraft. And guess what? It's going to get worse. In time, deception is going to get worse. If y'all can't see through this what what are y'all going to do when it gets even worse than this they're rolling they're rolling it out they're rolling out this end time deception they're testing it out on y'all they're trying it out on y'all okay and in these videos with these personalities and these people with these platforms they're they're polling y'all Okay, they're getting paid to poll y'all. Beware. And and they say, well, let me know what you're thinking about it down below. Let me know what you think about it down in the comment section. Necromancy. This is a warning. This is y'all engaging. Y'all y'all communicating with the dead. Y'all who posting on Jamie's platforms, sending up prayers and thanking God for healing him and this that and the other and um, sending him all of these messages yo, yo, necromancy I heard the Lord the Holy Spirit speak that loud and clear the morning after I uploaded the previous video necromancy that's it that's it if I forget anything I will have it down below or if I've forgotten anything I will put the rest down below in the uh, in the comment section um, hold on a second I think I wanted to say one thing before I close this out so they brought Jamie back up and guess what this right here this is this was their backup this was their backup plan right here Sorcery, IT, intelligence technology. This was Jamie's backup. They brought Jamie back up, and this was Jamie's backup. And the wicked powers that be, this was their backup plan to deceive the masses. God bless. Enjoy the rest of your morning. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And please share the video.